Hello guys, thanks for joining me again. Today I just wanted to talk really quick about the Netflix exodus that's going on that I am really happy about because here's the thing. So we all know that Georgia's heartbeat bill was signed into law or is going to be signed into law. And Hollywood and Netflix and, the, and places like that are freaking out. They cannot handle the idea that people want to save children. So, and they were willing to lay down the law to do it. So Georgia's bill isn't even no abortion at all. It's it, once the child's fetal heartbeat can be detected, then you can't kill them, <laughs> essentially. So I am loving the backlash here. This Netflix, what, Lindsay Blaylock here. Hey, Netflix, look what I just got. Woohoo! If you can boycott Georgia, then I can drop Netflix. So they've, uh, people are leaving. Oh, wonderful ad. Let's see. So people are saying, you know, if you do this, you're going, we're going to quit paying you. I like this one too. Hey, Netflix, my family is dropping your services because you support the genocide of millions of tiny humans. Drop Netflix. Abort Netflix. Bye, Felicia. I love that one. Uh, Disney is also one of those companies that is saying well if, if you're gonna have this Georgia then we're not gonna bring our money there so this is why I like these kind of things where we can say okay well I'm just gonna drop Netflix then because Hollywood and the technocrati as they call it or technorati whatever they want to say I can't say that word very well anyway these people who have all this money and support things like abortion, like homosexual marriage, like let's have our kids dress up in drag, let's have our kids be transsexual, all of these things. They use money as a leverage against lawmakers. And you see this most obviously with abortion. All right. So we the people, though, have the greatest power is all of these businesses get their money from us, even if it's um, government supported that came from us from our taxes so when we stand up and say okay guess guess what guess what you just can't have any more money than from me you can't do it that is taking a stand as a christian there's no way even if they had the stuff that i just love to watch there's no way i could give them money at this point because of their stands for things they're saying, you know, well, if you have this heartbeat bill, then we just can't come here with our money and we can't do this. It's like, okay, thank you for showing me who you are. Thank you for telling me where I need to put my money and it's not with you. All right, guys, let's, let's make a stand like all these other people are doing. Let's, you know, let's do this. We actually canceled ours a while back because one, there's nothing on there to watch. And two, they had a, they, they, this is not the first time they've been involved in things like this. Uh, they had the they had a homosexual scandal. They had a scandal with where they made a show that encouraged children to basically suicide themselves. This is not really a company I want to support. All right, this is not the first time they've been like this. This I love this here. Netflix becomes the first major Hollywood studio to pledge to fight Georgia's abortion bill. I mean, please. What you're basically fighting for is people to, to kill other people. <sighs> and then this right here, also another thing about all this is that it's very, very selective. So in America, where we're doing well, they want us all to just, you know, die out and die out. But in Egypt, where people are basically killing each other anyway, <laughs> and abortion is illegal, oh, it's fine. We'll do production there. So this is either because there are two different people running the two different sides of this company or because Egypt is just not run by God's people anyway. Um, there isn't a whole lot of Christians out in Egypt and the ones who are there are being killed. So you have to look at it at that way too. Let's see. What is this? I don't know if this is true, but it would not surprise me because I'm going to show you a, an article next talking about the employees, how much they gave to Planned Parenthood. Netflix CEO donated to abortion ban folks in Missouri, but Netflix is thinking about leaving Georgia over their ban. Was well, looking for a reason to drop Netflix. Done. Get your anti-abortion hip hypocritical butt out of here. So interesting, right? Interesting that the CEO donated to something in Missouri that is actually going on in Georgia also. So I don't know. 
<laughs> I love this. Bye, Flix Leisha. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. Matthew Stephen Millis says that Netflix backs lawsuit overturning the Georgia abortion ban. Wow. So they're actually going, they're actually putting money towards making sure that this law doesn't happen. So I also, I went looking for some evidence that Netflix as the company gave to Planned Parenthood and I couldn't find any, but what I did find was at townhall.com talking about all this, where it says that the, the people who work for Netflix gave it about $20,000 in 2018. So I'm just going to read a little bit of this here. It says, in light of its past decisions, Netflix warning comes as no surprise. The company has a history with abortion and, in particular, the nation's largest abortion provider. Not only have multiple Netflix shows worked together with Planned Parenthood, but also Netflix employees have donated tens of thousands to the organization. Netflix Georgia comments came shortly after Governor Brian Kemp signed into a law a bill from prohibiting abortion after a fetal heartbeat can be detected. So a child's heart is beating. The bill says you cannot kill it. Netflix wants you to be able to. Somewhere, so there is actually a show everyone's talking about called Big Mouth, and they mention it in this article. Here we go. It's no accident that Big Mouth pops up several times. In 2018, the show's writers toured a Planned Parenthood to prepare for an episode promoting the nation's largest abortion provider. Their inspiration came after Sue Dunlap, the president and CEO of Planned Parenthood Los Angeles, told an audience of writers and producers that... While their donations were helpful, what would really help is stories that involve Planned Parenthood in your shows and movies, according to one of the actors. They heeded her call. So here we get here we have again, guys. Hollywood, the the left in general, let's just say that way, supporting things like Planned Parenthood, which regardless of what they say as far as the other things that they provide, the biggest thing that they provide, and this has been proven over and over and over again, is abortions. <laughs> so this, when people say they don't watch TV anymore, or when people say they don't go to the movies, I don't blame them because look, look at this stuff. When you give somebody a movie ticket or you, you know, watch TV and you watch those ads, that's giving someone that's giving this industry money that then goes to places like Planned Parenthood. Now, I agree that you can't, you know, boycott everything, but come on. When they're this obvious, then that's, you've got to step up at that point. At a certain point, I think people have got to start realizing that you have, you have your morals. And whenever you shop or participate in what a company is giving and they turn around and they're the complete opposite of that... You have to say, well, you know what? It was it was fun while it lasted, but now we're gone because I just can't support that. I actually found on Twitter someone was showing that they were canceling and they, the reason that they gave was they're pro-life. All right, and if I can find that again, I'll try and link it in the description. But it matters, guys, what we do, okay? It's like I was saying to somebody else earlier. When these Hollywood people, when Netflix comes in, when Disney comes in to these areas and they're saying, well, if you don't pass this law or if you don't quash this law, we're going to take our money out of here. That is the free market influencing an area. All right. And in my, you know, in a bad way, in the wrong way. But all of these people... Netflix, Disney, all that. They get their money from us. Even when something is run by, you know, given money by the government or run by the government, they get that money from us. Government money is tax funded. It's, it's taxpayer funded. So it comes from us out of our checks. Do you want your money, you know, you buy that Disney ticket, you buy whatever, do you want that money going towards these things? All right. So you can have the debate with yourself inside. You say, well, I don't want to, I still want to go to the movies. I still want to have a good time, right? But maybe not as many movies as you used to. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just enough to pay them and so that they don't have money to be giving to places like Planned Parenthood. So they don't have money to back 
the messages that they're backing, such as homosexual marriage, such as, you know, trans kids, such as drag queen kids, these things that actually do harm us in our development. We have to have a sense of normality as we grow. We have to have a mother and father. We have to have these things in order to develop as stable people. And the only thing I can think of is these people either have no idea what really takes to develop a stable, um, productive person, or they don't care. And they don't want you to be stable. They don't want you to be productive. They just want you to be someone that can follow along with what they want you to do. So whichever one you believe, you have to at least think about this, all right? This is what these people really stand for. This is what they really want. They want you to be able to kill your kid. They want your kid to be able to see all kinds of sexual stuff. This is what they want. And that is, <laughs> that is always the case. It doesn't ever really change. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking to myself is basically, do I really want to go see a movie? Not really. Most of the time when I go see the movies, they're remakes of other movies or they're just not good. I just saw something that would have excited me probably two years ago, which is a prequel to The Dark Crystal. Now, I loved that movie as a kid, and, you know, that's what I grew up on. But seeing these things over and over and over again, I just can't bring myself to say, okay, well, I'm going to get a Netflix just to watch that and then leave. I just can't bring myself to do it. Every time, and when I would pay that for that month, I would think, well... Here's some of my money going to abortion then. Here's some of my money going to, what is another scandal they had, uh, going towards shows encouraging kids to kill themselves, making killing themselves look romantic, things like that. This is not, I mean, they're having meetings with people, writers and producers. So the people who create these shows are having these meetings with these people who, you know, they don't support God's values, that's for sure. They they want you to be able to have these abortions. If you've ever looked into abortion, you know that that's, that's not a, that's not pro-life. That is kill this person so that you don't have to deal with them. That is all it is. Whether you think it's legitimate through a medical reason or not legitimate through, I just don't want to deal with it because I don't have the money right now. You're basically killing someone. And this is what they stand for. If you saw or you knew of a CEO that was okay with walking into like geriatric homes and just taking people out, would you give money to that company? You know, this is the same thing. Only the homes for these children are inside women, unfortunately, or in some cases, such as New York's new law, they can give birth to this child and then still kill them. <laughs> okay. So this is really what we have to think about as Christians. We have to think about where is this money that God is giving us going? Now, I'm enjoying all this backlash against them. I think they totally deserve it. And I hope Netflix, I hope their worth goes down. I hope that they are not able to make enough money to make new shows. I just hope that it goes away. Excuse me. Will it? Probably not. But I do hope that this serves as a warning to them that the people don't think the way you do, the way you think it's wrong. Will it? I don't know. <clears throat> Probably not, but I'm enjoying the backlash nonetheless. I think it's hilarious. I hope Netflix, like I said, I hope their worth goes away. I hope all of that stuff just goes away for them and they have to rethink what they're thinking about. So, anyways... That's all I want to talk about today. I'm so glad to see all of this um, backlash for them. Because here, you look at this here. Netflix boasted 60.2 million subscribers located in the United States. Just the United States alone. So this kind of makes my point in a, in a nutshell. On top of its past moves, if Netflix rethinks its filming based on abortion restrictions, U.S. viewers are going to rethink their watching. Money talks in more ways than one. And they know this, and that is why they are putting the money squeeze on Georgia. Because they think it's going to get them somewhere. 
So I just show them it's not, you're going to hurt every single time you try and make it okay to kill our kids, every single time you try to make it okay to destroy God's way of life and everything. You need to put the squeeze on them. A, one of the things I said on Netflix, just as in closing, when talking to someone on Twitter is just get rid of them. The service they provide can be replaced by my dog. Because you think about it, Netflix really just provides entertainment. And my dog's cute as heck. And she can entertain me just as well as Netflix can. Okay? The difference is, I don't have to pay an extra thing. If I go and I play with my dog, or I go outside and I go have time with my friends, and I take that same $20 or whatever it is now for Netflix, and I go have fun, fun with my friends, I'm then building a relationship in that case with my dog. You know, I'm happy, she's happy, and I build sort of that bridge there. With Netflix, I don't do that. With Netflix, I sit in my chair and I just watch it and I'm just sort of happy, but I walk away with nothing, really. All right? So just think about that, guys. Just think about that. This cancellation stuff that's going on, I love it. And I hope it continues and I am not, I am in no way apologetic about that at all. So thank you for joining me, guys. If you liked what I had to say, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can catch up on everything that I've been doing. If you liked it, hit the like button. I've got like a, I'd like to get two likes on this one. So that is my goal. If you would like to talk about this down in the comments, please do so. I read them all and try to respond to all of them. Until next time, guys, remember to pray and read your Bible. Let God guide you. All right. See you later. Bye.